Hello and welcome to the demonstration of the Miranex High Performance Compute Virtual Desktops. So here we're going to open up any web browser and we'll go to our dedicated web page where we'll enter our username and password in order to log on. We use Citrix Receiver, uh, Citrix and Server, so this will open up a new window. Accept the terms and conditions and select the desktop we wish to access. Here opens a new window and this will present us with our remote desktop. We accept the permit use here. This will allow access to your local laptop or device uh, to enable sharing of files if required. So we click permit use here. So here we can see the remote desktop within our local Windows desktop with various uh, software preloaded. So here's the web browser that we use to access it, which we'll minimize, and here's our remote desktop, and here's our normal laptop, our local laptop. So then we can use it just as a normal Windows PC. So we can, we're going to open up um, Solid Edge here, which is a CAD package by Siemens. It's quite a complex program, so it will take a few moments to load. And we're going to select a, a demonstration file provided by the software vendor Magenda. So here we have a motorcycle unit, quite a complex assembly and we can see how the remote desktop performs. We can move that uh, screen around no problem with no lag and no glitches. And it's, the software is quite responsive here, we're just hovering over the components and they're selected as if you have your desktop by your, your side. And we can manipulate the assembly here with ease. We can rotate it, move it, zoom in, zoom out. Just going to expand the window there so we can see in a bit more detail. Zooming in, zooming out. So the advantage of this is it's a remote desktop so you can access it from anywhere. As long as you have an internet connection, a, 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 a a fairly standard internet connection, a couple of megabit per second per user will be fine and you can access this and we will show this a little later on in this video. So the work here is being done on our uh, the Miranex servers, the Miranex computers and the user is simply accessing it through their device. So you can use a thin client, you can use a laptop, you can use a phone, you can use a tablet with the same performance as if you have a high performance computer sitting under your desk. So what we're going to do now is we're going to simulate disconnecting. So here we have a top menu, we can go to our home, this is our local laptop, go back to the remote desktop, we have other options like control alt delete, uh, go to full screen and we have disconnect. So we could select disconnect there and that would just close that remote desktop window. But instead of simply disconnecting, we're going to just show how we can switch device. So in this example we're using an iPhone 6. We have Citrix receiver installed on that iPhone 6. So we're going to just show this, I'm going to project it onto my desktop here just so we can show the example. And we will show how when you log on with another device using the same credentials the previous session will close so you can only log in from one device from one location at any one time here we have our iPhone 6 
this is just projected on the desktop here. Just move things around so we can see. So we have the remote desktop with Solid Edge running in it and then we have an iPhone 6 running alongside and we're just going to click on Citrix receiver there and we have demo desktop 4 we enter the same credentials as we entered for the current session and once we enter this you will see that the remote desktop the previous session automatically closes it closes itself once the iPhone 6 logs in and not only that it will show exactly the same screen as that we're seeing on the left hand side currently we will be, it will be displayed on the phone and we can manipulate it just as easily as we can on the desktop. Here we can see we'll just turn the phone over and zoom out a little bit. So this is the exact screen as we've just left but now it's being displayed on our iPhone. So if you're on the move or if you're at the airport or you need to uh, another team member needs to access it you can do that and send them the work and they can view and see it just as this as if they're on in the office on Citrix receiver we have a mouse function in case you wanted to use a mouse because we are operating a Windows desktop from a uh, iPhone screen so that it's quite small but we have a mouse we also have a keyboard and here then we're going to just move back to Solid Edge where we have the motorcycle assembly which we left a few moments ago and you can see how we can manipulate it and we can click on components, we can scroll, we can rotate, and pan and zoom just as if it were on the um, full screen remote desktop. See this great performance, there's no lag, there's no glitches. So now we're going to do the same again. We're going to reopen the remote desktop on the local laptop. And you will see that the session on the iPhone 6 will be closed automatically when you go to log in on the remote desktop. So you'll see the motorbike on the right hand side here will disappear as soon as the credentials are logged and there we go. You get another box, the same box asking permission to uh, access your local data if you wish it to and you see the motorcycle is upside down so it's exactly the same screen just as we left it a few moments ago on the phone. We can access the local any local files so you can allow it to read and write access to your local device in case you want to transfer files from your local desktop. So here we can navigate to our local desktop and we can select a file and copy it over. It's a simple copy and paste exercise for files up to 4 gigabytes. And there we have it. So we're going to close that down and conclude the session. We can run multiple software on this uh, persistent desktop. So if you had additional CAD packages or you want to do simulation, then we can run those on the same machine with a central storage with multiple users accessing the same storage. We can also increase the specification of the, the, the remote desktop as required. 
here we are logging off and back to our home screen. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us. Thank you.